you unreliable piece of crap. Today we're going to be doing a, a tear down and repair, and we're pretty much just going to fix this unreliable piece of crap. And I'm going to teach you how, because, you know, I've done this four other times. This is my fifth Nintendo console that I've had to take apart. So, thank God it's pretty easy. All you need is your standard screwdriver. Uh, these, uh... Yeah, and your sister's toothbrush. Your sister's toothbrush is always the best toothbrush to use when you're cleaning a console. So pretty much, yeah, move all your stuff so it's not in the way. Grab your console, turn it upside down. Hit it a couple times because it's a, been a bad boy for not working. Remove this if you really wanted to. Kind of pointless. Get your screwdriver and one, two, three four, five, six. Don't forget that. Just put the screwdriver in and turn until it stops going up. Kind of, it screws. Don't worry about these two. Don't worry about those two. Wow! That's not supposed to happen. Also, don't lose these. These are not snacks. I couldn't put my first one together because I thought they were. So just don't forget these. So next, you're going to see this useless metal thing. To take that off, you got one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, right here, one screw here, one screw here, and two screws back here. Got that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So take those out kind of like how you did the top. I, I hope you know how to use a screwdriver After you got all those screws out you can kind of take this now since it's underneath this useless pile of crap You kind of got to pull it out forward, but after you got that loose you can throw it across the room because Well, it's practically useless Or don't I think I traumatized my dog Now the next thing you're gonna want to do You're gonna take out more screws. I know crazy, right? You're gonna get your screwdriver. You take out one, this one, this one. Don't ignore this one for now. This one, this one, and that one. And we're gonna see in a. You're gonna see in a bit why we ignored this one and this one. Wow. Now I'll tell you why we skipped those. So from this point on, you might have noticed if you haven't eaten them that the screws are the exact same size. All of them, every single one that you have are the same size. Well, these two are the only screws in this entire mechanism, in this entire system that are different. So, put these put these two and these two only in a separate spot. But you as you can see, those ones are longer than your normal ones. Now, some some of the newer systems have silver screws, but if you have an older system, an, an earlier model system, the long ones will be the same color as these. So just be careful. Also, no, these ones aren't edible either. So next, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the tray out. So it's pretty simple. You just pull up and out. And it should just come out like that. This, don't throw this at your dog. I didn't. Just put this off the side. You're going to need this. Whether you're going to push down on it ever again or not, we don't need this. So now, you're going to want to come down here. And you kind of want to see that. You see these pins? These pins are the reason why. Here, I'll zoom in for you. These pins are the reason why your Nintendo will not work. So... You're gonna want your get your pliers. Remember these guys, and you're wanna gonna wanna just kind of cram them in there, and then push up. You see? Now don't push up too far because then they'll go over this ledge, and then they're a pain in the ass to get back down. So about like that, and pretty much then you just do it to all the rest of them. It's long and it's tedious, but it's worth it. Trust me. See, as I messed up right there. If you push these too far up, it might look good, right? But then the NES cartridge won't go in all the way, and you'll bend the pin, 
and let's just say you won't have a fun time. So don't do that. Now, as you can see, all the pins are bent way up. Now, you don't have to bend them up as high as I did, but pretty much what that did is it allowed you, so when you put the cartridge in, make sure it does go in, it will be harder, that you do not have to push it down. It will just work if you did it right. If you didn't do it right, you either one, you completely fucked up the, the you're screwed, or two, you'll still have to push it down. Now, if you think this is good enough for you and you don't want to disable the lockout chip, just go to this time that I'm going to edit in. Okay, they skipped. Good. Now, if you, if you stayed, that means you want to disable the lockout chip as well. So, you see this screw here and this screw here. They're the same size as the normal screws, not those two extra long ones. And you're going to want to take them out. Now, once you did that, you should just be able to pull out the board. Now, before you go yanking it, you're, there are some cords you have to unplug. This one is player one, which means you definitely don't want to fuck it up. This one's player two, which means if you don't have friends like me, it's okay to fuck up, but I still wouldn't recommend it. And this one, uh, just don't do it. Just don't fuck it up. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is zoom in here. You want to take this one out. You want to take it out. Take player one out. Just like that. Now, what you're going to want to do, oh boy, is you're going to want to flip it over and take this metal shell off. Now, these last two cords are going to hold this in. So, what the one cord that I would take off, if you want this to be completely removed, you'd have to unplug both of them. But, I don't want it completely removed, so I'm going to just unplug. Because you need to unplug this one, the blue one, the big blue one, to... Um, get it off enough so you can get to the lockout chip. So you unplug it like that, you remove it like that, and you see the board. Now don't panic, you're okay. Don't panic. You want to go to this chip right here. You have the you have the video, so you have the AV, the RF, and the power, right? You want to go to this chip right here that's closest to it. Not this one, not this one, this one. Um, bend these if you have to. Sometimes you do. I don't recommend it because they're pretty fragile. But you're going to want to... On This is the lockout chip. This is the lockout chip. You're going to want to grab your tweezers and count with me. One, two, three, and four. You want to You want to pull out the fourth pin. The, not the third, not the fifth, the fourth one. So... Good, and you just want to pull it out like I just did. Now you want to make sure it's not touching any of the other contacts on the bore on the uh, chip, so it doesn't do uh, weird stuff. And voila, you have successfully disabled the Waco chip, or you have successfully fucked up your system. So now we just put this back on. It helps if you align the board. And it just snaps on. And then you want to grab your power. And you plug it back in. I think it's power. I don't know. It probably is power. I wouldn't be surprised. And voila. And then you want to flip it over. Flip it over whatever way you want. It, the cords are annoying. And just get your player one and plug it back in. Voila. Now, you just want to put the board back in, make sure the uh, cords aren't covering any of the screw holes, and you should be pretty damn good to go. Like so. There you go. And then you just want to put these two screws back in. So I'm going to do that right now. So there you go. Your, your um, screws are back in, and welcome back people who didn't disable the lockout chip and just skipped to here. Before we go, remember your sister's toothbrush that you pulled out? Yeah, well, you just kind of, you could just kind of scrub it across the board, cleaning it. But mainly, the main part, the main part that you want to do is you want to clean the contacts. Yeah, we just bent them. 
but you want to clean them just to make sure they work. Okay, so you're good. Now you want to put this thing back in. Remember this? The thing that you didn't throw at your dog? Yeah. You just want to put it in. Now, it is kind of tedious because um, when I first did this, I thought, oh, well, there's this gap. There's a gap in the between the board and this. Well, if you bend it down, then this bends and it won't lock in. You don't want to do that. You want to just fidget it so it goes in right. It's kind of tedious, but you'll get it. You'll get it someday, probably. Come on. You'll get it someday, probably. There we go. See, just fidget like that. And then now it's on the thing. So, then, remember those big screws that I told you not to eat? Well, they go back in the, in the hole closest to you. So, down. The, the hole up here closest to you. So, you just want to put them in and screw them back in. Good job. You put the screws in. Now, we're going to put the, the other four in. The normal size ones. Bang, 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 and bang. Right, sorry, right there. Now, you want to go back and pick up that metal thing that you threw across the ground. Oh, man. Oh. Now, this is completely optional. You don't have to put this thing back in, but really, unless you're going to throw it away for whatever reason, just put it back in. It's not that hard, and it doesn't do anything bad. So, you put it back on. It's pretty easy. Kind of flexible, though. There are little notches that it goes into, just to make sure it goes in all the way. Come on, there we go. And then you want to put those screws back in. Remember, remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just put those in. Now, after you've done that, you remember this part that you shouldn't have thrown? That you set to the side. Yeah, you just put that on the top. And you just flip it over. And you should, if you have if you did everything right, you should have six screws left. If you don't, if you have seven screws, you did something wrong. And if you have five screws, I told you they weren't for eating. So pretty much just put it one, two, three, four, five, six. Last but not least, put the cap on if you took it off, even though you definitely need it, didn't need to. And voila! You got a fully functional Nintendo, unless you fucked up. If you fucked up, that's your problem. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Repair video. It's such an easy system to fix if you fucked up. Damn, that sucks.